And we are continuing with Lessons of the Mafia 3 left off. Off camera, you and I talked about movies, video games, and music. Oh. Do you ever feel like that years just rip each other off? Like, I mean, years in history? Uh. Like, for example, 2015 at Star Wars and 1985 at Star Wars. Yeah, but Star Wars is a popular thing. Movie wise. Well, a popular thing at all. Um. Is that a guy oh. There's Johnny Cash again. Is that the only damn song they have in this? Song? That's what I said. Because uh, seriously, they have Johnny Cash, but it's like only full presentations. <laughs> it's the only song for you. It's just every song on the radio is Johnny Cash. He's only got like one song in this. No, maybe not. Which one is this? No, this is full of prison. Never mind. <laughs> it is what you thought. Uh, but as I was saying before, uh, Star Wars is a big fucking thing. So of course people are going to want to make money off of it. Um, <laughs> Disney. <clears throat> Everybody, really. Well, Disney bought the rights to it. Yeah, but still. It's one of those things. And then they're making that, they're they're making that spin off Han Solo movie soon. Are they? Yeah. Okay. It's going to show the story of young Han Solo and young Chewie. I don't care. <laughs> Who wants young Chewie? I like old Chewie. I like Chewie in general. <laughs> I, I like I like the bit in in uh in the new Star Wars and in, in the seventh movie. Han's like, can I try your crossbow? Just blows people up. He's like, I like it. All right. I still haven't seen it. I haven't oh. seen the new movies. Kind of want to. Just because I've seen the old ones. And it, it's a continuation, but it's like. 30 years later, like, Luke Skywalker's a myth in the universe. And he went to go... Yeah, he went to go visit the first Jedi Temple because his nephew went boohoo Vader evil in his teenage whiny bitch punk-ass goth stage. Uh -huh. He was like, oh, Grandpa was evil. I want to be a dick and kill everybody. That kind of evil. And uh -huh. then, like, when people say you're not special, he literally cries the entire movie. He's like, Grandpa's a legend to me. I'm gonna be better than me. It's bitching. So you really uh -huh. just hate the, the character. Because he's annoying. Yeah. Like when, like for the example, when Ray, the girl who everybody, nobody knows who her family is. She was abandoned on a desert planet, and uh, Simon Pegg, you know, Shaun of the Dead. Uh, he gets to yes. play. He gets to play an ugly job of the hut looking alien that sells people food for scrap metal. You don't really know it's him until he talks either, because you you can tell it's the voice. Yeah. And then Ray, she could be she could be Luke's long lost daughter. She could be Obi Wan's daughter, etc. Granddaughter. Like, nobody yeah. knows who this girl is, and they've been teasing it for like three or four years now. <laughs> Turns so, out, everybody in the fucking Star Wars universe is related to each other. <laughs> well, Luke got married in the comics, and they did books between the years of the 70s and the rest of the years, you know? Okay. And in the books, Luke got married to an uh, evil Sith spy who he let her defected and fucked a lot, named Jada. Jade, Sh Jade Jada Green something. Okay. I, I didn't read the books. Yeah. Well, he didn't read books or comics. I've only seen the movie, sadly. I, I would like to read the books. I know there's a, I know there's a joke that uh, there's a joke book where Chewie and Han end up going to Earth, and Chewie ends up becoming Bigfoot. Great. Because everybody like, so Han disappeared. Han died. He got shot, and they they warped to a random star system, you know. And it was yeah. Earth, and then Indy finds Han's body. He goes, I have a bad feeling about this, but why do these clothes look familiar? And Chewie's the mythical Sasquatch guarding Han's remains for the past thousand years. And the Indians are scared of Chewie. Um, it's, strange, it's, it's a comic, and it's called Into the Unknown. I actually read that one. That was uh, my dog outside. He's rocking around hitting the doors. Now he's growling. I don't know if you heard that. He's growling something. I can't hear anything. Uh, I need to go talk to Pablo. Yeah, I just finished talking but, uh, to him. Yeah, so Luke got married, and then he had a son, and it was named Anakin, or no, Leia and Han had children too. It was Anakin Solo, Ben Solo, and Jason Solo. Ben was named after Kenobi, you know, Obi-Wan. Yeah. Anakin was named after Luke's dad, and Jason, I don't know. But anyway, so everybody kind of thinks that Ray and... Kylo Ren, a.k.a. Ben Solo, are cousins, but nobody knows for sure. Mm. But the thing I love is, like, then there's the Stormtrooper, there's Finn, he's a 
He's the okay, Star Wars' his first Sorry. lead black role since just, Mace Windu. I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. Let me just watch the movie if I'm gonna watch the movie. And everybody's banging on this is very confusing. Everybody's banging on him being Mace Windu's kid. I'm gonna put it that way. You remember Mace Windu? Yeah. yeah black yeah. Jedi. Yep. Yeah. Same little Jackson. I used to uh, play as him all the time in uh... Galactic Conquest. Yep. I mean, who wouldn't? All because of the reason that purple he had a lightsaber. purple lightsaber. He, he, you know, he asked for that specifically so he could see himself in all the fight scenes. Hmm. Because think about it, if you're running around with a green blue lightsaber, you can't tell which one's you. Right. He's like, I want it to be purple. Why? So I can see myself in the movie. Valid reason. At least reason. I know where I am, damn it. <laughs> right? I mean, you stand out if you have a red one, too. If you have a red lightsaber. In yeah. a fight full of blues and greens. Car now, but I, I'm I am hoping that uh that Galactic Conquest makes a return in Battlefront 2. Right, that'll be nice. That was it's, my favorite. I hope that I hope that it's actually like I hope it's like you can actually verse your friends too. I'm sorry. I said I hope that it's like you can actually verse your friends. See, that would be hard to do. I see how go up with these, uh, but verses would be pretty difficult to actually do. I think it would be fun. Well, not that it wouldn't be fun or anything. I'm just saying it would be difficult to do because the old, the entire thing about Galactic Conquest is you're competing to, you know, collect an entire galaxy. And it, see, it'd be fun if you were actually competing against real people. Yes, again, this is going to be something that would be very difficult to actually make. Correct. Extremely difficult. Especially if it's set up the same way the old game was. Uh, if it was co-op, yes, yeah. it's understandable that they'd be able to make such. I, I find it funny that uh, they tried to pull a battlefield and like give it no story and make it all multiplayer, and the first one, and nobody was having that shit. Mm. You know, like the first Battlefront was fun for what it was, but it wasn't. It lacked a lot of shit. There was no. What the fuck happened to my car? <laughs> There, there was no, there was no story mode. There was no yeah. co-op. Well, that's survival co-op, and that doesn't count as co-op. Co-op. Yeah. My car just exploded for some reason. Good. It, it was like 40, 40 versus multiplayer. The best thing I've ever done was. Uh, he's talking. Best way to make a crook squirm is to earn money. Huh. Yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're Which one you talking to? I understand Pablo. he's a hard Pablo. motherfucker. Okay. I understand he's, he's a, a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. When I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. Go get that commie loving piece See, of shit. He says Pops and I, I'm like, oh, it's an old it's an old grandpa with like it, a machine gun. I'm being just destroyed by two mobsters. Uh, or two cars worth of mobsters and the song, it would be nice if... Need new wheels and tick fall. <laughs> this is just playing in the back. Just about out of everything. Jesus Christ. I need your way now. Uh, might as well just die. I don't have enough money anyways. So I had a guy deliver my car and a guy give ammo and they just crashed into each other. See nice. Anything you need? So anything you need? Yeah, everything, motherfucker. I See need the need? fucking world. That's what I need. Right. This is done. You know how to fight. Perfect. Now get out of here. Look at Here's your car, boss. Perfect. Now get the fuck out of here. Wait. Now fuck off. Get out of my fucking way. Right. But I, I am hoping for Glad to Conquest to return. Because oh, I know definitely. not only was that one of my favorite game modes, it was a lot of everybody. Everybody loved it. Yeah. I, I don't it was think I yours. will get the game if they don't have Glad to Conquest. Because honestly, I'm not a big multiplayer person. If I'm I mean, gonna play multiplayer, I'd rather just get Battlefield. I like the whole 40 v 40 and 64 v 64s, but because it feels like more of a war than a, just a skirmish like Call of Duty's. I miss, I miss the uh, what was it called? Ground War. Ground Sorry, War? didn't hear you. Call of Duty when it had Ground War. Ground War. That was in Black Ops. That was like 16 v 16. Black Ops had I don't it. Remember that? Like I genuinely don't Black remember. Black Ops One it. had it. Oh. Ground War. Damn. It was sixteen versus sixteen instead of I don't like know if I ever played eight that. versus eight. We played it. We used to play on Berlin Wall. Remember? Did we? Yeah, we did. 
I don't remember playing that. I genuinely don't. It was just bigger games. Like, there were like, it was basically two teams on each side instead of, but it was yeah. one big team of 16. Well, I understand. I'm just saying it. it hmm. I don't remember it. And they got rid of it after Black Ops 1. Like, most games got rid of it because they wouldn't like it and they wanted it back. It's like how you like, you, you, you bitch about things until they're gone and you want it back. Huh? Don't, don't realize know how you love something until it's gone. Don't realize how fucking good video game video games had it until. Well, how the hell did they even see me? I shot a guy up the staircase with a, with a pistol and like grabbing some cover. Somehow that's. How... I don't know. I got the oh. white. I heard a white guy with like the blackest voice. Some motherfuckers die first. Fire it. <laughs> the hell you are? Hang on. How the fuck did I just shoot that sentry and he didn't die? Ever spray a sentry and I don't die? Yes, all the time. I literally just shot him in the head several like times. It seems like unless unless you can hit them in the head, they don't die. At least for me. So you're like literally just shot him like five thousand times. Didn't want to yeah. die. There you are. I mean, well, I fucked that up. Like, think about Star Wars Battlefront. Is, I, I wanted a really good campaign from that. I was hoping for it in the original. Mm. I, don't know about, I don't know about you. I don't know what you have hopes and dreams. I always thought you never had any. I'll be honest. It's basically none. I only have like three things that I genuinely want to do. In video game? Uh, well, just in general, but. In that game, the only thing I ever wanted in it was Galactic Conquest. And after I heard it wasn't there, it was like a... Broke your heart. <laughs> well, the thing, the money. black hole that you call a heart. Essentially. Oh, what the fuck? What, uh, what happened? I literally just shot this asshole right in his face and he's not dead. <laughs> Sounds like what I was just talking about five minutes ago. To go to the boatyard, I have to go up top now, and I can't get up top at all because I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Where the fuck's the staircase? I hate running around blind. I, I really do. I hate running in blind somewhere. He's fucking with the wrong crew. Over here, he's over here. Oh fuck! Oh, they added a new thing for uh, in-car fighting. What? Or at least I don't remember mechanic? being there. It automatically detects the tires and aims for them. That's why my tires got shot over by the cops with shotguns so far. Wouldn't that be funny? No, that's what um, happened earlier. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about when I shoot. If you get close enough, you can easily shoot out the tires. Ah. Uh, I am looking forward to uh, the people who made Witcher. I'm looking forward to uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, I, I sent you that link. You sending that. I don't know if you watched it. You never told me if you did. I did. I didn't really have anything to say about it because it, uh, it looked cool. It, it looks okay, I guess. And the reason I say that is because there's no gameplay for it yet. It was just an so, idea trailer. Yeah. It was just this is our idea. See if you like it, kind of thing. Yeah. So once it actually comes out, or at least get some kind of gameplay out, then I'll look at it and say, oh, this Obama looks interesting or whatever. Here, Pops. But we shouldn't be working with those commun- Damn it, my grenade missed. Okay, I'll try you once for us. I threw a grenade at you, deal with that. I like that. You gotta be pinned. Yes, I do. You work for me now. Come on. Get the fuck off me, you big son of a bitch. Of course. Oh, never mind. You kill Pop. She doesn't work for you. That sucks. You there? Um. Suspension upgrade. Okay, body kit upgrade. Drive train upgrade. What did you take? I don't know. I took 
One that was green and one that was blue. Oh, body kit then. You assigned it to Vito? Uh, I think one was Vito, one was Burke. If we're gonna hold tick for harbor, I'm gonna need some I got uh, two areas I could do that without. Sure it's all nice yeah. and down. But I ain't doing it as a favor. I expect you to look out for me. Remember, we're supposed to take down Marcano together. I, I still want to do uh, Osiris New Dawn when we have a chance, eventually. Sorry, I'm in the middle of a cutscene, so I can barely hear you. It's one of those ones you're not able to skip. Yeah, I know what you mean. Pain in the ass. It's a real pain in the ass. The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything okay, they I think could it's to over. keep us out of it. Okay, now I've got a cutscene with the old guy talking about, uh, <laughs> broke into talking about... Offices ...and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our the, surveillance... The CIA is talking again. Yeah. He's done. What I was saying was, uh, I, I, I can't wait till we're going to do Osiris New Dawn. Uh, it looked interesting from what I saw of it. Good to see you, sir. Definitely can't didn't look the bad. Got here. And now I have to go do the other one. I have to go do the uh, the other mission. I have to go. There's another Tickfall Harbor. I also have to go kill another guy. I have to kill the last Jack Jr. Holland. Gotta kill him. But I didn't hear you because the cutscene. What did you say about uh about Osiris? You're done. If you're there. Hold on, just a second. Okay. Uh, I just got a new thing that popped up. There's something called the sit down. Uh, where we figure out who gets this area of the city. Oh, I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I just killed Frank, so... Oh, I'm about to go kill Frank. Yeah, he's not actually that difficult to kill. Throw grenades, duh! Well, I shot his fuel tank and he exploded, but that works uh. too. Uh, you've already assigned the rackets in this district, but now you must assign this district to one of your underbosses and all bets are off. <clears throat> Deciding who will run this district will reassign under the chosen boss. Uh, assigning a district to one of your underbosses will unlock more favors, improve the amount of kickback you'll collect. Give it to Rito. I'm giving it to Burke because it's in his area. Underbosses might resent not getting a district, which could have consequences down the road, but if you really want to get the most information, you'll have to All I get is a fucking marker. Fuck you, Sentry. God damn! Switchboard operator. Guns increased ammo. Oh, that's such a good thing. I like that. What, oh, what, that's such a good thing. I'm gonna ask what happened in a minute, but a, a guy just showed me. He goes, "Open the door, up, bitch! It's the last day of your miserable fucking life." And then he got shot. Yeah. What's a good thing? Uh, for the girl. Um, whatever Cassandra. her name is. Sure. Uh, she, she gives you something, an upgrade called Gunsmith Increased Ammo. It literally increases your ammo capacity, which on is every extremely gun? useful. On any yeah, gun? I think so. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What are the other two? What are the other two? There are two upgrades. No, it was two upgrades. That was one of them, and then there was another. And then he screams, we're down a man, and I just killed them all. What was the second upgrade? Um... You gotta get yours! I can shut off phones for two minutes, I think it was. That sounds fun. Where's Junior Holland? I'm gonna go fight his ass. I'm trying to find this fucker and you can't find shit anywhere here. Porno! Got it. Ammo.
I think I'm like one mission behind you. Yeah. I need to go find that stupid ass son of a bitch. Damn! Cut that sack of shit down. Can fall into the river. Fall into the river. Fall into the river. Fall into the river. I fell into the river. It's not what I wanted to happen. What the fuck is this guy? Is he in the building? I am lost and I have no idea where I'm going. There's another fucking cutscene going on for me. That's why I'm so quiet. Okie dokie. I have to go look around and find people that I have no idea where they are, so... Mm. I have to go behind a bunch of buildings, you know? Yeah. Like that, they're like, take him down, and he was like, we're dropping like motherfucking flies! I got mm. beat on him! I got right the cops! You know, have people He's ignore crimes for two minutes. Grenade. Hey, I have a grenade. Those boys. Gotcha. Now I'm gonna take your money. So where am I? You work for me now. Where the fuck am I? Where those big balls now, Junior? God damn. Auto theft secured. A suspension upgrade, marker, and drift. Suspension. Turn off phones for a while. Betty can get me enemy locations and she'll pick up kickback for me. Damn. Nice. <gasps> Is that a milk van? Looks like a. It's a milk van! Return of Milk Van 3, the trilogy. Fucking right. I don't give a shit about you, you stupid witness. I have you're my a, milk van. I have my milk van, that's all I need. Can you spare Mr. Some Sandman plays football. whenever you're in that milk van. No problem, I got right. you on their way. Uh, losing Open favors. You signed. Just don't get the. Uh, okay. You know, okay. I gotta go after Tommy Marcano. Ooh. You're almost done. <clears throat> well, he's just the next on this section, though. So. Those guys are taking my shit, so hold on. But uh, I never asked earlier, what did you say about Osiris and Dawn? I didn't hear you because I had a cutscene. Uh, well, it sounds interesting. I've seen gameplay of it. It still looks good. I don't mind playing it. Just gotta remember to fucking get the thing. Right. Every bad time, thing uh, you get enough experience. Uh, Father Every Priest Morgan is talking. They, Ow. they never leave. What happened? I hit my arm. <laughs> this isn't no VR bullshit. About them well, I was trying while, to scratch when the next one comes I was trying to scratch my ass. No matter how trying slight, to scratch my ass over here. It brings everything back. It reminds you of the Wait. Like he just smokes a cigarette I'm casually. Around. Father Morgan. Right. I knew I couldn't carry all that. I knew I couldn't home. carry all that around. Smoke a cigarette. Changing outfits. What outfits do I have Lincoln, now? You were white walls, man. Action. Hold her I'm up. thinking probably not. And we are out of time. I will see you guys next episode. We will. Sorry. We. I you. see how it is. <laughs> you Trying exist. I forgot. Get rid of me, huh? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, no witnesses, but you know, not till the end of the series. Right. But we have our epic standoff with each other and end up shooting each other point blank range with like a thousand bullets and not killing each other. But you know. Because that's our friendship. Just bang, 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 bang. You're not dead. Okay. We will see you all next episode. So goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, everybody.